All right, this is video number three of how to put together your Plays V8 model engine. In the last video, we got the valves in the cylinder heads and ready to install the cylinder heads. So now we're on page 11. And they want you to install the cylinder head. Now, it does matter what cylinder head you put where. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Right here, you have that tab sticking out for the engine, which I've been calling the front, but it may very well be the back. I guess we'll find out when we get done assembling it. And then it says to put this cylinder head on here. Now, if you look, 4, 3, 2, 1. And if I look right here, it says 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so I know that's the correct cylinder head for that side. This cylinder head, I don't know if you can probably, probably be able to see it, says 5, 6, 7, 8. So I know that's for the opposite side. Now, go ahead and let's go ahead and put your cylinder head on. And the valves are going to be facing down. In other words, don't put it up like this. The valves at the top. No, the valves need to be facing like that. Alright, let me find a screw here. They want you to use the screw B, which is um, the bigger of the screws. You have six of them. Now, when you are installing a cylinder head on an actual vehicle, you're going to want to use the information from the repair manual on how on what bolts to tighten first. What you typically do, well, like I said, always follow, follow your repair manual. What you typically do is like you work from like the inside out. So I just got in there kind of snug. I'm going to start all of them. Tip of your screwdriver should be magnetized just a little bit. And the reason why they do that is so that way you can help hold the screws. Okay. Alright, so I started them all. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna you probably don't have to do this, but I just want to do it. I'm gonna start the top one, and then we'll go to this one. Then we'll go to this top left one, then the bottom right, and the bottom left, and the top right. And what that does the only reason I'm doing that is because it seats the cylinder head on the block flush. If you try tightening at this end, and just work your way down, it won't sit on there quite as flush. It's probably not important for these plastic engines since they're toys, but for in real life, you would want to follow service information, but most of the time the service information is going to have you tighten the screws in a pattern something kind of like this, you know. Um, but anyways, alright, so you got the cylinder head on there. I've already put this side on so you can see what it completely looks like. Alright, the next thing I want you to do after you get your cylinder heads installed is on page 12 here. And this is just a little bit tricky. But you want to put your uh, rockers and valve train assembly together. So you have two rods. Or I'm sorry, you have four rods. The, short, the, shorter of the, the two shorter ones are for these little red rockers and the two longer ones are for these cams these cam lobes okay if you look how this works I don't know if you can see the end or not 
see how it's got a point to it? It's got a lobe on it right here. See how it's, how it's got a high point here and it's lower on this side? When this thing rotates, that high point's going to come around and it's going to push down on that rocker. Okay? And it's going to make the rocker go like that, which is going to open and close valves. This right here is called a, this right here is going to be our makeshift camshaft. All right. Now it does matter which way it's facing too. When you put these together, make sure you read the directions carefully. This right here says D A C B B C A D. And if you look at the picture right here, it's showing you that little tab needs to face that way. Okay? So all your little tabs need to face this way, and you need to get all your alphabets in order, okay? On the next one that you do, it's going to have numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And if you look right here, it says that they want that little tab in the back, and they want the number facing the front. And then your red rockers are pretty, pretty much just put them on there and be done. Alright, so when you put this on here, you might have to separate them. There's two valves per cylinder there. You had two loops per cylinder. Alright, we'll put that in there. Make this rod somewhat even on both sides, I guess, is what you should do. And then you got to take these little guys right here. And what these are for, these are for holding your camshaft down. So those would be technically, I guess, your camshaft caps. Just make sure you put the number one on the number one or the letter one goes on this side, this side, and then the number one goes on this side, the right side of it. All right. So what you want to do is they want you to take. get this piece out right here okay and right, just to make sure things fit real nice so it doesn't fit like that so this right here has a front and back as well now it fits on there right okay you're going to take this, and again, it's two rockers per cylinder there. And you're going to let that thing slide down in there. Something like that. Then, you're going to take your little cam cap here I was talking about just a minute ago. And you're going to install it on here to hold down your camshaft. And you want to use the C screws. These are the little ones. The, the, even, the most, yeah, little ones. Alright, so, take my screwdriver. Magnetized bit. Okay, what I want you to do is go through and put all your cam caps in, get them all tight, and then we can uh, stop right there until the next video. So get your cylinder heads on, get your um, cams all assembled correctly. Just make sure you read the directions. Look at it carefully. One side has a bunch of letters. One side has numbers. And it matters which way they face on there. Okay? So, get your cylinder heads on. Get this all put together before you start assembly. And then stop after you have on uh, step number 12 here after you got all your cam caps on. Stop there. Alright, like I said before, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please let me know. Uh, remember, I do not have any extra parts or pieces, so if we lose something, we're going to have to figure out how to make something work. Okay, good luck, guys. Be careful. Keep these parts away from kids and uh, small children and animals because they look like candy. They may want to try to eat them. Thanks for watching.